We're here today at our youth club and kick session that we run for young people aged 11 to 18. So today we had a workshop on mental health. So what we normally do every week at Youth Club is that we have a youth voice and what we do is we have a question or a word on the, on the whiteboard and we ask young people to kind of write what that word means to them. And then every six weeks we get together and we host a youth forum where they talk about common themes. And one of the common themes was mental health. And we were privileged today to have Marvin Saldell come down and talk about his story and how he suffered with mental health and how he overcame that problem. Which is important, I think, from someone who's been at a high level, who's played in the Premier League, represented England. Uh, it's important for these young footballers to know that mental health does exist and it is now becoming more and more part of our world. So it's important that they are aware of if they do suffer with mental health, how, how they can best support themselves and what support there is uh, for them. And hearing it from a player like that, I think is really inspiring. With Marvin being the next Watford footballer, it was great to have him down at his uh, former club, helping the trust. I've come down, speak to the kids, get involved with the session, play a bit of table tennis and, um, and pool with a couple of kids, just speak to them, give bits of advice and just did a talk and share my story and my experiences with mental health. And, you know, hopefully it can res resonate with some of them as well. In that setting, it's, it's difficult to interact and engage because A, the topic's quite heavy and B, like, it forces people to be a little bit vulnerable because it's something that is quite sensitive to matter because it's a lot to do with emotions and, and managing them. But, you know, we've got great, I think, got really good engagement from some of them. And I think with a lot of them and the rest of them, like, over time, it kind of will just begin to sink in what I'm talking about in terms of emotions, just understanding and how to communicate how they're feeling with people, whether it's friends, loved ones, or you know, people here that they, that they see on a regular basis. It's just really amazing how there's a Premier League, ex-Premier League player who played for England, Burnley, Watford. It's just amazing, to be honest, and motivated me. And about how he, his life, how it was hard and stuff, and it just really helped me a lot. Today was a bit different because we had um, Premier League, ex Premier League player Marvin so they'll come down. He was saying how like when like he got to like the high level, his like mental health like kind of took a hit. It was like now that he got to the level, he, he like didn't really know what to do next. And uh, he was just talking about like what he did to help his mental health and uh, how like we could in the future if we ever get to that position help me because like obviously like dream to be like become Premier League footballer and like if I ever get to that situation I always like remember what he says. You know it doesn't matter what's going on like how good you are and what abilities you have you know our mind is a key to all of that and it's the thing that upholds everything so you know it's so important that we focus on that and especially from a young age you know kids gain a, a, a foundation and an understanding of their emotions and their feelings and how to communicate them you know it will alleviate problems down the line and it will, it, will, it will just give them a better foundation to move forward in their lives, I'm sure. And I think they got a lot of takings from the sessions which they will, they will use in their life. 